Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. everyone, and welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog Program. I am Johnette Benkovic, joined here by Ryan Penny today. We've got some spectacular items to share with you today, those beautiful opportunities to enter more deeply into a life of faith, and I'm just eager to get started. You know, it's hard to believe that Advent is going to be here in a few short weeks, and we do need to make room in our hearts and also to give Jesus the best gift we can offer Him, and that is our love. And we can do this if we make Jesus our priority throughout this holy season and of course for all time. First of all, we want to give you some gift ideas that, that you can begin to think about uh, to help pass on the gift of the faith to those that you love. Here we're featuring this beautiful traditional Byzantine style lobed cross and this sterling pendant which features 22 karat gold accents is an example of the traditional Byzantine cross. The features depicted on the front here are Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, the Virgin Mary, and St. John the Baptist. The figures on the back are St. Nicholas, a guardian angel, Our Lady holding the child Jesus, and Saints Peter and Paul. Let me just turn this around so you might be able to catch a, a glimpse of that on the back. The pendant measures one and one eighth inch and it comes on a 20 inch gold plated chain. And you know, Ryan Penny, it's good to be with you here as we get started right away, huh? I'm so glad to be back, John. I'm so glad. Yep. What do you think of this pendant? I think it's really beautiful. We have so much here, Ryan, today. This is amazing. Look at this. This is a musical kneeling Santa statue. And this statue is made of a resin stone mix, and it measures five three-quarter inches in height. It plays O Come All Ye Faithful. And I don't know if we can play it. You think we can turn this on and Let's see what do happens it. Let's here? See. Okay. We don't turn it on really long. Isn't that precious? Uh. I love a music box. And I want to tell you what, your children will love a music box. It will help them to see that even Santa kneels at the creche of the Christ child, right? Even though it carries the tradition of Santa Claus with it, it raises our mind to the true meaning of Christmas, the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. I was really excited to discover also, Ryan, that, and share with you friends, that EWTN now has a couple of different sets of Christmas cards. And one of the best ways to spread Christ's love during Advent and Christmas is to send Christmas cards to our family and our friends. We can really brighten their days as well as share the real reason for Christmas. And first we have these icon Christmas cards that I'm holding up for you. And I'll go through them a little bit at a time so that you can see each one of them. Now this set includes a variety of five, different icon cards, each with a special verse or quote on the inside. The five icons include two images of the Nativity, the Byzantine Madonna, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, and the Holy Family icon. Now, I don't know if you are aware of the fact or not, but icons are a real gift, a real treasure to the faith. They help for us to see deeply into the mysteries of the divine life. The iconographer actually prays and fasts before the icons are written. They call them written because they're a theology lesson. And uh, I just, I have numbers of icons around my home, and this is a must for me. They're for beautiful, this but season. theologically rich at the same time. It's yeah. true, isn't it? Even yes. the colors and everything in them, friends, has meaning and value. So when you send this, it's not just a card, it's frameable. It becomes something that will speak to them all through the course of the year. We also have another beautiful card here, too. And let me hold this up. This, this is striking. I mean, this is just striking. This is beautiful. This is the Christ child. You'll know this Christ child as El Nino. And this card features a print 
of the Christ Child by Swiss painter Melchior Paul von Deschwaden. And on the inside is a poem by G.K. Chesterton entitled A Christmas Carol. On the right is a greeting that reads, May the love of the divine Nino, the sweet child Christ of Bethlehem, fill your heart with peace and joy as you celebrate the day of his birth. Now this is an exclusive design. I want you to know that you can't get this anywhere else except right here at EWTNRC.com. It is a special card and it has been created just for EWTN, which means just for you because you are part of this EWTN family. Now both of these sets include 25 cards and envelopes. And I'll tell you, they are unique. This is special. These are all frameable. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I really love this poem by G.K. Chesterton on the inside, especially the part that talks about the Christ child standing on Mary's knee and that all the flowers looked up at him and all the stars looked down. Oh my of course, goodness. they're looking down at their creator. That's Because exactly even right. the stars know that Jesus is the true light of the world. Mm -hmm. So I really love this a lot. Well, I'm glad it touches you deeply because it touches me deeply too. Yeah, well, and speaking about the light of the world, this during the Advent season, one of the best ways to signify the anticipation of the coming of the Messiah, who is the light of the world, one of the best ways to signify it is by lighting Advent candles. And so we wanted to show you this joy of Advent candle holder. This decorative candle holder is designed to look like carved wood. It is shaped like the word joy, featuring the baby Jesus and two sheep in front of a scenic background of, a stable, of, of stable animals in the city of Bethlehem in the distance. And on the base it reads, we love him because he first loved us. It measures nine and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches by seven inches. And we also, of course, have the Advent candles that go along with it, the candles for Advent wreaths, and which come in a box set. We've got the three violet taper candles as well as the rose colored candle, and the candles measure 10 inches high. You know, one of my, I always get a kick out of every Advent season when during the, the, the third Sunday of Advent, our priests always, always remind us that their vestments are not pink, they're rose. <laughs> True. <laughs> Very important distinction. <laughs> At least if you're a priest, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and you know, I just want to say too, and, and, and comment on this, Ryan, the fact that these, um, you know, Advent wreaths, uh, these depictions of, of a type of an Advent uh, wreath concept, very important. Children absolutely love ritual. And when you take them into the ritual of lighting it each night and praying the prayers that go along with it, it makes really deep impressions on their little souls. So don't scurry past the opportunity in Advent. I know life gets rushed, but take that time because you are really nurturing, nurturing that spiritual life of your child at a very young age. And they'll hold on to that. It'll carry them right through the teenage years, into the college years, and on into the, the maturity of their life. Absolutely, and, one of, I, and also one of the best ways, I think, to really uh, inspire children and really everybody with that spirit of the Christmas season is by listening to Christmas music. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite ways. Mm -hmm. And so this sacred Christmas CD performed by the amazing vocal talent Adrienne Price is a great way to enter into the Christmas spirit. On this CD, Adrienne Price performs 15 classical and traditional hymns, including What Child Is This? Away in a manger, rise up, shepherd, and follow. O come, all ye faithful, and my personal favorite, O holy night. Mm. So let's listen to a sample of this album. O holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of a dear Savior's birth. The total running time for the album is 45 minutes. Adrienne Price really has an, an amazing voice. Yes, you know, She's some really years ago gift. we had her on uh, Women of Grace, and it was a musical uh, program just for Christmas. She and Kitty Cleveland sang together, and I must tell you, it's become a standard. We run it every year, and this is the album from which uh, Adrienne took most of her music, and oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous, absolutely. So. Family, please keep in mind that every time that you shop online at EWTNRC.com, rather than call our phone center, you're saving us dollars that we can put to better use promoting Mother's Mission. And as always, our website is secure and easy to navigate, so it is safe and convenient for you. And now here are several items that will help us to share the faith with our children and grandchildren. 
And when we teach our children about the Catholic faith, as Johnette was just speaking about, we have to do it in a gentle, fun, and reverent way so that they will grow up with the solid foundation. We should always show children the joy of being a child of God. And one of the best ways to introduce them to the love of God is by having a home nativity set. And so we wanted to show you this children's nativity set. This 11 piece set is made of solid wood pieces designed to be handled, played with, and enjoyed as a young child's first nativity set. The brightly colored, fun, and whimsical pieces are designed to fit easily in a child's hands and will spark their imagination as they reenact the Christmas story again and again. The high quality construction and non-toxic paint make this a safe and durable set that will last for years of Advent and Christmas fun. The stable measures nine and a half inches high and the standing figures measure three inches high. You know, I've got to tell you, this is great. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm very eager for everyone to stay tuned until the end of the program when we give you the price point on each of these items. This is a tremendous value. And I can just see little children running around. I can see my grandbabies running around with these little figures in their hand, putting them in, talking about this beautiful, beautiful night of all nights, uh, the one that birthed salvation to the world, and really learning from it. So I'm purchasing two sets, just saying, keep it a secret, though. Absolutely, it works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and another great way to introduce a child to the love of God, I think, is, is to ignite their imaginations with the great story. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to show this book called The Little Star by Anthony Stefano. In this book, a king is about to be born. I wonder which king they're talking about. <laughs> and the stars in the heavens compete to see which of them will announce his birth. And when they see the poor family, all but the loneliest star in the sky doubt the child's royalty but how can this little star serve? Certain to become a Christmas classic, this delightful tale connects the star atop our Christmas trees to the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This hardcover book is 40 pages. You know, Ryan, you are so right about that beautiful little book, and I can't personally wait to read it to my grandchildren as Christmas comes near. You know, one other thing that I think is so exciting about this month is that we have a great feast that precedes our Christmas season, and that great feast is the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, one of my favorite titles. And I want to show you, friends, this absolutely amazing opportunity that we have for you. And it is the Lupita boxed set. Now, I just want you to notice uh, the artistry on, on, on the box. This is just the box, and it's lovely. But when you open it up, you find that there's lots in here. And the children will learn about St. Juan Diego, and Our Lady of Guadalupe. It will inspire them. And Lupita, notice this little precious doll here. This is Our Lady of Guadalupe. She will encourage the children to do good each day in anticipation of the Feast of St. Nicholas. Now this limited edition box set includes a 36 page English and Spanish hardcover book, which you can see in here. This nine inch plush Lupita doll who is dressed like Our Lady of Guadalupe. And it also has a wax sealed personal note from Lupita. It all comes in this sturdy magnetic box. And if I take uh, Lupita out, and I place her here and I take out the book, you can see that it's really sort of like a bit of a storyboard in the background, isn't it? It is recommended for children ages three years and up, and I can tell you this is going to become a treasure for them and a treasure for you. You will enjoy reading them the story, but you know, you'll know you also enjoy helping it come to life with this beautiful little Lupita, uh, Lupita doll dressed like our Lady of Guadalupe. Now it also comes um, wrapped interiorly with confetti and you'll see that the confetti is bright red, very charming. We were just concerned about it getting everywhere here on our table. We didn't want it to ruin up our displays of other items, but it comes as a beautiful, beautiful set and I really encourage you to check this out. The closure on this is magnetic, easy for children to open and easy for them to close, which makes your life a little easier because they'll be more inclined <laughs> to put everything away. It's just absolutely darling. I'm going to leave her out here for just a minute because she's so cute. You know, I just know the children are going to really love this and, um, you know, we're also reminded of the fact that in addition to all of these beautiful uh, happenings that occur in December, we've got a very big day 
date that's coming up in November. And that's Veterans Day, friend. It's Saturday, November the 11th, and that is the time when we honor our country's warriors on that day in particular. We should always pray for our military and for the veterans who have helped to keep us safe and who have safeguarded our freedoms. Now, in particular, the best way we can pray, you know, I always tell you this, we should pray the rosary. And I have something absolutely magnificent to show you. So pleased about this. And this is the EWTN Warriors Rosary. And it comes to you as well with the Holy uh, Rosary prayed by Mother Angelica. It's a CD set. Now I'll talk about that, but I want to show you this beautiful Warriors uh, Rosary. And it is very special to EWTN because it features on the Our Father medals all of the saints that are important to EWTN and all of the various ministries that are offered through this great, great uh, communications ministry that was begun by Mother Angelica. Now I want you, these beads, these are semi-precious stones, I want you to know that. It's exclusively, the entirety of this is exclusively handcrafted by premier Italian rosary maker, Gorelli. And this happens to be the semi-precious eight millimeter stone, Sodalite. No two beads are exactly alike. So each rosary is a unique creation. I love these beads. They remind me of the world. EWTN is global, a global outreach. Uh, don't you see that too? Don't you agree with that, Ryan? Yes. Yeah, you know, it's, and it also reminds us that each one of us is unique, and God loves us each uniquely, completely, totally, and infinitely. Now, I want you to see and take a note of this beautiful two-toned classic sword of the spiritual warrior's rosary here. The front of the centerpiece includes the EWTN logo. Move that around for you to see there. Do you see that? It has a shield and cross swords. Each Our Father, as I was mentioning to you, depicts a different saint that is important to uh, our EWTN ministry outreaches here. And each one of these saints was particularly important to Mother Angelica and the founding of the Eternal Word Television Network. It's continued growth and mission to the spread of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the whole world comes through your prayers. You help to make this happen. And if you pick up this warrior rosary, specially crafted for EWTN, I can guarantee that Mother Angelica's prayers will be answered and this big mission, tremendous mission, raised up for this our day and time will continue to move forward. The rosary comes in a custom gift box with an informational pamphlet that accompanies it. Here is the gift box. It's very lovely. And this would be a very beautiful gift for a man or for a woman. It would be a beautiful Christmas present for all of your friends and all of your family. It's strong. It's heavy, which means that it will hold up even if you pray the rosary every day. And I definitely recommend, of course, that you do that, <laughs> all right? This set also includes, as I mentioned to you, this beautiful CD of Mother Angelica and the nuns of Our Lady of the Angels Monastery. On this CD, Mother Angelica and the poor Clares of Perpetual Adoration recite the joyful, sorrowful, glorious, and luminous mysteries of the rosary. You could pray with the nuns anytime you want through this CD. This program was recorded at the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama. The running time is two hours, and of course that's inclusive of all four of the mysteries. If you purchase both the rosary and the CD as a set, you will save more than 10% off the regular price. What a great opportunity for you. Take advantage of it. My favorite part of this rosary, Johnette, is definitely the sword-shaped crucifix. Oh, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Because what, it what draws you in about because that? Because it reminds us that the rosary is, as St. Padre Pio said, the weapon. And that is up and down the centuries, Our Lady gave it to us in order mm -hmm. to help make ordinary men and women into great saints. That's exactly right. That's what it's all about. That's exactly right. And you know, we are in a battle, aren't we, Ryan? We are. I mean, we're, we're fighting principalities and powers. And this is one of the great treasures that we have through these holy reminders uh, that are offered through EWTN's religious catalog. Right. And of course, we do continue to urge you to use the internet opportunity. It saves money here, which means that we can do even more in the mission that Mother Angelica began. And recently, Johnette, you had someone on your show talking about some of the great North American saints and some of our more modern day saints who really understood the spiritual battle that we're in. Yes. So we wanted to show you two of those books that were on her show recently. The first one is 150 North American Martyrs You Should Know. In this book, Brian O'Neill gives us a fascinating look at the lives of martyrs associated with North America by introducing us to courageous souls who died in their attempts to spread the faith to this continent. 
as well as those who were born in North America but died doing missionary work in other lands. This paperback book is 190 pages. Yeah, I have to tell you, it was a great interview. I learned so much about so many saints that I didn't know about, and I, I realized what a treasure of faith we have uh, as a result of these great men and women. And in a certain way, their blood shed for our faith is in the soil of this country, and it was really gratifying for me to read about them. Always looking for new saints. Brian O'Neill does a great job. It's important to know that there were saints who were made on our very soil that we walk on every day, and that saints are still being made today. That's which right. Which is why this next book is really important by Brian O'Neill, 39 New Saints You Should Know. It is easy to fall into the belief that saints lived many years ago, and that those living in the modern age where disbelief is rampant cannot possibly become saints. But nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, as Mother Angelica used to say, we are all called to be saints. In this book, Brian O'Neill explores the lives of some of those canonized and beatified during the pontificate of Pope St. John Paul II. And this paperback book is 156 pages. Yeah, great What a fantastic book. resources these would be. Yeah, and they're easy reads, but so insightful. Yes, they are. Inspirational. Absolutely. Next time on EWTN Religious Catalog, we are going to have more Christmas items and a few gift ideas as well, including an Our Lady of Fatima necklace and a Holy Eucharist bracelet. These sacramentals are wonderful reminders to live our faith boldly. So make sure to tune in next week. Now here are the times that we will air the EWTN Religious Catalog Show. And now here's a recap of the items that Johnette and I showed you today, as well as information on how to order. First family, we showed you the traditional Byzantine style lobed cross, so beautiful to behold. It is item number EC8G, and it is $120. We also featured the musical Kneeling Santa statue, item number 26783, and that item is $45.50. We talked about the beautiful Christmas cards that we have. First, we showed you the Icon Christmas cards that come as a box set, item number STC14, the price of which is $20. And next, that lovely image of Divine Nino, the Christ Child Christmas cards, box of 25, item number C525E, and it is $20. Next, we showed you two items that together help to grow our sense of anticipation for the coming of the light of the world. We showed you the Joy Advent candle holder, which is item number 33061, and it is $44, and it is greatly paired with the candles for the Advent wreaths, which is item number 95743, and they are only $7. Then, we showed you the Sacred Christmas CD by the amazing vocal talent, Adrienne Price, and it is item number 15242C, and it's only $15. Next, we showed you the children's nativity set, and it is item number RLN95, and it is only $15. And then we showed you the book by Anthony DiStefano called Little Star, and its item number is 58056, and it's only $15. We showed you that darling Lupita boxed set that includes the book that is both in English and Spanish, as well as the doll, uh, conveniently located inside of the box that has the magnetic seal on it. It is item number 58748, and it is $35. We then showed you the EWTN Warrior's Rosary and CD set, and this is an amazing bargain, friends. I'm just saying, you have a discount that is greater than 10% if you buy the two together, and it is grouped for, uh, under item number E5817K, and the bundle is $103. Next, we showed you two books that were recently featured on the Women of Grace, books written by Brian O'Neill. The first one is 150 North American Martyrs You Should Know. And that item number is 36551, and it's only $16. And then we showed you the 39 New Saints You Should Know. 
item number 16928, and it is $14. Friends, to place your order, please visit EWTNRC.com. That's EWTNRC.com, the home of Holy Reminders. It's safe and secure, 24 hours per day, seven days per week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. So please do order through EWTNRC.com. It is a money saver for EWTN, which means more mission, according to the mind and the heart of our founder, Mother Angelica. You can also call, however, and that number is 1-800-854-6316. That's 1-800-854-6316. Thanks for joining us today. Just visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. For those of you tuning in from Canada, look for the Shop Canada button at EWTNRC.com for special savings. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. Well, friends, it's been a beautiful opportunity to be with you today, and all I can say is that we look forward to being with you again. Until we have that opportunity, may the abundant life of Jesus Christ be yours, and may God richly bless you. Brian and I saying goodbye for now. This show is here to help you to become holy, to help your family to become stronger in union with God and union with each other. I want to feed your family and you with beautiful books, beautiful articles, the saints, crucifixes, just something of God for your living room, for your kitchen, in your car, wherever. I hope and pray that this program Yes, catalog program will help us to be family. First God's family, your family. And that's what this network is all about, family.